Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So last week, Microsoft rolled out their latest release of the PowerToys utility app for Windows 10 and Windows 11, which was version 0.69. And just a quick heads up that if you are using PowerToys, that over the last couple of hours, Microsoft has rolled out a update which now bumps that version up to 0.69.1. So it's just a point release, which they say they have rolled out because they deemed a couple of bugs important enough to release this update. Now, um, as I did post on um, last week, uh, the latest addition to Power Toys was the new registry preview, which is a quick utility to visualize and edit complex Windows registry files. And I'll leave a link uh, to that video in the description if you would like some more info. But... Um, most of the fixes that have rolled out are actually for the registry preview tool. So if you are interested, just to mention a couple of these to keep you updated and in the loop. Now, Microsoft say they fixed an issue uh, causing the registry preview window to adopt a size that was too big for the screen after opening up a big file. And then another fix for registry preview is they fixed uh, the wrong menu and tooltip transparent background in the actual tool. And they've also added Control and S and Shift and Control and S as shortcuts for saving in Registry Preview. So that's a nice, um, those are two nice um, keyboard shortcuts. And um, if you are using uh, the Registry Preview tool, you might find those handy. And uh, they've also fixed um, icons for, registry pre for the Registry Preview tool on some systems. Those weren't being displayed properly. And then the last fix for the tool is they fixed a crash when trying to open or save a file when a registry preview um, is running with administrative privileges. So that's a good couple of fixes that have rolled out for the new tool. So clearly there were a couple of issues since Microsoft did release that brand new utility. Now, just to go through a couple of others, um, Awake has received one or two fixes and improvements, which is a way to keep your PC awake on demand. And uh, um, the first is regarding the mode, which I did post on, which was an update recently two power toys they fixed a crash um, on the settings application after se selecting the new keep awake until expiration option of awake um, on time zones with a negative offset relative to utc so th obviously that's a time zone issue if you were keeping uh, keep awake until expiration if you had selected that using the awake tool and also an, a second fix um, they fixed command line functionality for awake so that's two fixes that have been made available for Awake. Now, um, another fix um, that has rolled out uh, is they also added code to avoid crashes. Apparently, um, there's been some um, crashes due to the recent shortcut control changes. So if you were experiencing any crashes, um, that should be addressed now with this latest update. And then um, the final uh, fix or actually add on to a mention for this uh, video is if we head over to welcome to power toys and we head to what's new this is where you can get access to obviously the release notes and this is everything that has been improved and fixed um, in version 0.69.1 which is listed here obviously and um, they've now hid the installer hashes of release notes um, in the what's new page according to Microsoft so that's a little change for the what's new page so that's just a quick heads up um, that if you are using power toys those improvements and fixes have rolled out as mentioned the majority being for the registry preview tool and if you were unaware power toys uh, is a set of utilities that helps you to tune and streamline and um, windows um, for greater productivity and these tools and utilities do not come standard in windows 10 and 11 and you can download um, power toys from the Microsoft Store in case you are unaware. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.